Edge PCs, and uh, it's pretty cool what you're showing off, John. You kind of the Blu-ray, and uh, I better show the unit actually. You've got integrated Blu-ray and HDVD in this uh, media center system, so you've got the uh, HDVD running up there. I guess you've had a lot of people then coming having a look at this because it's pretty. There's not many here. I don't think there's any others, is there? Oh no, this is very exciting. Uh, I think we're the only company on the floor that's running a media server that runs a Blu-ray inside a media center as well as HDVD, and it allows you to access all the menus during or before playback. Yeah. So and you can do it all from your MCE remote just as you would uh, a regular computer. Yeah. So let, let, let's, let's show me some of the stuff then on there. So this is a HD DVD as well. I'm going to go ahead and select a scene here from Transformers. We'll start playing that. And the thing that we'd like to point out now is that once the scene's going, you can take advantage of the advanced HD DVD menu. You can go over here, select pop-up menu. Go ahead and you'll get the menu while the movie's playing. Select a different scene. This one. And when you're done with it, you can hit it again and pop off the menu. Yeah, that's nice. It's very seamless, just like if you had a standalone player. Yeah. The only difference is we'll launch the movie in 15 seconds or less. So yeah. You don't have to deal with the four minute waits or 30 second waits that you do with the standalone player. Yeah. You can, sh you can show us that now because we were, I was just saying to you when I demoed the uh, Sony unit, it seems to take forever when you put the DVD in and then it shelled out of Media Center and loaded up something else and it seems to take forever to come on, but you showed me that before and that's, that's interesting. So let's have, let's have yeah. a look at that. We'll go ahead and stop here. I'm going to go back, I'm going to eject the disk. Uh, we downloaded some updates apparently. <laughs> I'm going to go with the Blu-ray, fifth element. Put that in. So talk, start your timer now. Yeah, we'll start timing this so the viewers will be able to, be able to time this. And I found on the Sony one, I didn't think it was working. I kind of left it and left it and left it. Okay. Pops up. Simply say okay. Yeah. There you go. There it goes. The software is provided by ArcSoft. They are going to release it to the general public, so I really recommend downloading it. Yeah. Uh, in the meantime, we're their beta partner. We've helped develop this to run in, seamlessly inside a media center. Yeah. I mean, there you go. It's just, you know. Yeah. That's seconds. so much quicker. Same thing on the Blu-ray. You can take advantage of the menus and the VDI features during playback. So I'm going to select the scene again. Now while the movie's playing, you can pull up that same pop-up menu again. We can select a different scene if you like. Get her jumping off the building. We can pop off the menu. Another nice feature, we do support the lossless tracks. So we can switch the audio over to the lossless. Okay, shut up. And now it shows audio to English. Yeah. And to verify that you're actually looking at the LPCM, we can go down and pull the information. This will tell you what display you're at and what the information is showing. You'll see up there you got 1920 by 1080. It's an MPEG-2 format and it's playing LP PCM. Yeah. But what what's nice about that though is it just you know you just put the disc in and it works. Um, you know, like I said when I was trying before, I wasn't sure it was working. This just this goes straight through. And you build yeah. the, the, these media sense systems yourself. That's great. We are a manufacturer and we also have a software development team that writes programs in MCML. Yeah. So we, we're going to be seeing a lot of that from us in 2008. Well, and we're going to get you on the show and do a full interview uh, later in the year. I look forward to it. Well, many thanks for your time. It was really good. Yeah, thank you.